guys welcome back to the youtube channel having a problem with the duramax it's a 2005 duramax and i'll show you what's doing and hopefully i got the parts to fix it today so when you turn the key on the airbag light should go off it's checking the system now and it pops up service airbag so after doing a little bit of research on that, um, I found out that it could be the front impact sensor. So I went and picked up this sensor today. That little thing was $180, uh, but I was able to get it discounted through Napa. As far as I can tell, you're only going to need two tools, two wrenches, and, or you can use a socket. I just use two ratchet wrenches, one to disconnect the battery and one to remove the sensor. 2005 Chevy 2500. And a lot of people said, uh, through my research that there's a box under the passenger seat as you can see there is no box under my passenger seat now i did uh, watch another youtube video that showed a box like right here with some wires in it well mine doesn't have that and i don't exactly know where that airbag box is under the truck and that sensor there's a splash shield right here and that sensor oh let me get you some light sensor is right there so that's the splash shield and there's just one sensor right there so i'm not going to take off the splash shield there's no need to it because i can get to the sensor um so let me disconnect the batteries and we'll go from there i don't know how good y'all can see down in there i'm removing this negative terminal now like i said this thing has two batteries so i'll have to remove both of them um I'm doing that just for a precaution. Um, I seen where that it takes multiple things to set that sensor off. So we're just gonna use precaution, just take disconnect that battery just in case. I don't think it matters which side you take off. It's just easier to take the ground off because if you touch something, nothing's gonna happen or nothing should happen. that completely off now i'm going to turn the key just to make sure there's no power left in anything so it's got this orange clip on here you can just remove it with a screwdriver should just pop out of there and then let me use both hands here so i got the old one off um, it, i just couldn't get my camera up in there so all i did is put, push that orange clip out just push that down and that connector slid right out. I don't see any much corrosion on this one. Um, everything does match, uh, the numbers don't match, but it's a single pour, the connectors are the same. Um, see if I can. I mean, it's pretty close. This one just say MD on it. But let's get this installed and hopefully see if this fixes our problem. I got the new sensor put in. It wasn't no problem. I forgot to mention on those sensors, they go in one way, so you don't have to be scared of messing nothing up. It's got a, a groove and everything for that sensor to be directional, so there's no way you can mess it up. Let's see if that fixed our problem. Um, since this is the first time turning it on, I'm gonna stay away from the steering wheel in case the airbag does deploy. Okay. So the light's blinking. Oh, well, looks like we fixed it. Well, hopefully this video helps someone that's looking with that has the same problem, but it was the front impact sensor. Um, well, thank y'all for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.